All right, so I've never done this before, but I've always wanted to customize a football helmet. I've been thinking about it for a while, and I decided, you know what? It's time. And as soon as I bought that helmet, my son was on me like a hawk. That's Luke, age nine. He's gonna be very mad that I froze the video on this frame. He's also a football and a YouTube expert. So I need his help to plan out this drawing and make this YouTube video. I've already messed up by buying a helmet that's too small, but it fits her and that's all right because she's gonna need it. Yep, doesn't fit Luke, sorry about that. But we can still customize it, so help me plan it out. Eight, five, five, 10, 15, 20. Should be a character on it. Like graffiti style, though. like mix it all together, blend yeah, it all like together. They can logos. Want to do Roblox? Yeah. Just NFL teams. Big logo on it. Like, or I can do a realistic one. Like, so make the like really smaller. All the other ones really small. If you want to do that big buffalo pop. Yeah. If we have space or something, we can do a big buffalo break. Right, start with that. Even after the planning, I still don't have any idea what I'm gonna draw on this, but I just make the leap and I start preparing the helmet anyways. <laughs> helmet ready, it's time to sketch. With a project like this, the initial idea can get you going, but once you start, you realize that it's gonna turn into something totally unexpected. And the best way to get there, the quickest way to get there, is to not think and just let it flow out and figure out the puzzle pieces as you go. Once the sketch is done, I move on to the painting. I'm using Arteco, Grog, and Posca pens to add some color. The first coat of paint is enough to scare you and make you want to quit. But back in my day in college, I used to go to the art museum and I would go up to the most famous paintings and get as close as they would let me get. And what I would realize is those artists weren't magicians at all. They didn't paint perfectly. Their art was not perfect. I could see pencil lines. I could see paint strokes. When you step back, everything looks great. But when you get up close, nothing is perfect. So don't try to make anything perfect. Just try to make it as good as you can today. I paint the helmet over the course of a couple of weeks. And now we're pushing through to the final coat and the final details. I'm using a thin Posca pen for the black ink lines. Once you start inking, this is the way to pull the drawing together and add a ton of personality. The helmet is done, now all I have to do is spray it before my kids get home. Lift it off. Wait, before I do this reveal, 
I once spent three years making a graphic novel and I asked Luke what he thought of it and this is what he said. Good. So we're not gonna get our hopes up, right? Finally. Ah, he liked it. And he validates it. Smells a little bit. That's all right. The helmet still doesn't fit him now. But it does fit her. And that's all that matters. She's going to need it. 